piece of equipment is the Brockwell hardness tester, which can be used for macroscopic hardness testing of different materials. To begin, the machine needs to be turned on, which the switch can be located on the back. Once the machine has been turned on, the current testing settings will be displayed here in this area, which will tell you which hardness testing you use, the type of indenture you use, and the load that's currently it's set for. Since Rockwell hardness testing is a very versatile type of uh, hardness testing, there are different scales ranging from A to G. For each scale, there's a different setting. These settings can be found in the front of the machine, located here. Uh, for most metals, either Rockwell hardness B, Rockwell hardness C, or. Rockwell B is commonly used for aluminum, brass, soft steels, and other soft metals. The, the Rockwell B test requires a 1 16th inch diameter ball and dinner. Rockwell C is commonly used for harder steels and requires a 120 degree cone. To perform a test, the dinner must be inserted to the Rockwell hardness tester and secured with the screws. So for demonstration purposes, Rockwell hardness B and dinner will be Now that the indenture is secured, the proper test load must be selected. For Rockwell hardness B, 100 kg force is used, and for Rockwell hardness C, 150 kg force is used. This test load can be selected by turning the dial to the proper position. Now that we have the proper indenture inserted and the proper test force indicated by the dial, we need to scroll through the menus until we get to HRB to let the machine know what type of test we are wanting to perform. After we've selected this, we, the equipment is now ready to perform a Rockwell B test. But before we do this, we need to test a calibrated specimen to make sure the equipment is reading properly. The calibrated specimens can be found next to the equipment and also they have an indicated value on them to let you know what it should be. The sample to be tested is aluminum. As you can see, it has been polished so it is flat and smooth. To test the hardness of the sample, the surface to be tested should be placed under the indenture facing upwards. Once the sample is under the indenture, the platform should be raised by turning the dial of the base machine. Before contact between the indenture and the sample is made, you should make sure that the indenture is not going to be touching any of the corners or any of the previous testing sites. Once this is done, the dial should be turned further to raise the platform so contact is made between the indenture and the sample. The machine will indicate this by saying minor load. The, the sample should then be raised slightly further until the proper height is in. The depth, of the, the depth of the indentation is then measured by the machine and will be displayed here as the rock hardness number. The higher the value given by the machine indicates a higher hardness value for the material. Now that we're done with the test, we can lower our sample and test a new location or test a completely different sample. Now, for each sample, you should test at least two locations to make sure you get a good average hardness value. If you have any other questions about this piece of equipment, the manual can be found in the door below it, and comparisons of different hardness scales can be found on the wall behind it on the poster.